What's going on guys? Here for Cowboy Bebop episode 2. We're going to go ahead and watch it. If you want to skip to the discussion at the end, the link is in the description, the time code. But last time we had Asteroid Blues where Spike and Jet were going after this couple who were trying to sell these drugs to get money to go to Mars. And it did not end well for them. And it was a pretty good first episode. I was really into it. It uh, stuck with me. I loved the the visuals, the aesthetic, the music and everything, and just the tone of the show really stuck with me over the last week, and I, I'm really looking forward to getting into more. This is Stray Dog Strut. So yeah, if you want to get these episodes a week early, consider checking out the Patreon down below. It would mean a whole lot, but for now, we've got episode two, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Three, two, one. So we'll get more characters introduced, we'll go on more, I don't know if everything will be a uh, bounty, just random little side adventures. I don't know what we'll get mostly, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. What we will get is the opening, which is great. Definitely a show that I would want to rewatch on my own afterwards. You've got something like Steins Gate where it's like I'm excited to rewatch it so I can go back and see all the little plot in intricacies and see what I missed the first time and what makes sense later with new context because of all the time travel stuff. But then there's something like this that I would just want to rewatch on my own just to absorb it better. So the kind of show with the kind of tone where I would usually just sit there in silence and, like, absorb it. But here I have to talk. So, kind of thing where I would want to watch it again and just let it soak in again. But this is fun. I'm glad I'm sharing my experience watching it with these videos. And there we go. Damn good OP. I love the visuals too. So let's get into it. I think this is where we meet the dog, who I think is the dog with Edward. When does I don't I don't know. I know the individual characters. I know who they are. I know their names, but I don't know anything about them. I don't know if the dog comes in separately. Okay. Close quarters coming out of a public toilet. These guys with guns don't matter. Just fuck them up. Are we at Mars? Look pretty red. That's cool. What? Whoa. Okay. Showing bounties. I was like, what are we going to watch here? Uh, I was going to say that's a lot. But in the whole solar system? I guess not really. But if they all watch the same program to go after the same criminals. Hey. It's, a, it's an interesting presentation for the show. He doesn't seem that interested. Is he just tired? It's not a, not a fun... Not a fun bounty to go after. Mm-hmm. Okay, no. He's, he's gonna take it. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, he looked way different than that picture. That's why. Plastic surgery. I didn't know if it was just a disguise. Hmm. 
All right, cool. Got info from the doctor here. It's an interesting looking. I like the visuals of the stuff, like the like the gates they were going through in space or stuff like that. I like the detail. Yeah, looks pretty different. I don't know about that. I mean, when you say a small woman, like, what is, how small are we talking? He's tall, dude. A small woman who's also a contortionist? Oh no, I don't think uh I don't think he's going to take kindly. Oh, hello. Maybe you're lucky that that roach came. Oh, what? Okay, no, you're not lucky. Never mind. Oh, I was like maybe he took his anger out on the roach instead of this guy, but no. He is a very big dude. Maybe that suitcase is bigger than I thought. Just like next to him, it looks small. No, it's it's Kind of a regular sized suitcase. And you fucked up. Uh, guys quick to anger, for sure. And it uh, screwed him over a little bit. What is in it? Something totally unexpected, I'm sure. Oh, the animal, yeah. Unexpected for anybody who was going to steal it. So is that Ein? They do say that. It's interesting how hmm, we 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 spend a decent amount of time in these first few episodes. We'll see how the rest of this one plays out. Um, focusing on the antagonists. Like in the first episode, there was a good amount of time where Spike or Jet were not in it. And we're just seeing what Asimov and his wife were doing. And it's kind of cool, just seeing in detail like what the other guys are doing other than them. Rather than just seeing it all from their perspective. Hi. Nice. Not him. So he didn't. He didn't see what his face currently looks like. Cause that that is not him. Also, why do you have a turtle on your head? All right. You're about to, I think there's about to be chaos in this place. If this dog is going to jump out. Aw, he's a cutie. And he, he's fine. I thought he was going to jump out and like just run around and wreak havoc. But no, he's fine. He's just like, hey, what's up? A little corgi. 
That's it. Or as my girlfriend would call it, a bread loaf dog. So yeah, whatever. Just a random little dog. But what about the dog? Is it that 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 you you that? Is there something like did the dog swallow something? Does it, is there something about the dog that's worth more? Oh, he doesn't like him. That's the kind of chaos I was expecting. Was there a monkey? It looked like some other... There looked like animals in there that I wouldn't have expected to be there. This music... I like I like this this music with this little chase scene. I love the dog. I love the design. It's just this cute little corgi. You gonna throw fruit at the dog? He's like. Just bust through it all. What a way to make this scene fun with this music. Like, goddamn. Go, dog, go! There's something more about it. Yeah, he's like, you don't know about... Uh, I'm sure he knows something about the dog, and he's like, you don't know? Is it going to jump? Jump onto that thing? Is it smart enough to do that? Yep, it sure is. They might be too heavy. They sure are. Oh! He's like, I'll go with you. I don't like that guy. The fact that I know the dog becomes, like, a permanent crew member makes it more interesting. At least I'm pretty sure he does. So yeah, I guess he's introduced on his own. Again, a similarity to, to another show I'm watching with Gintama. I was like, Kagura got introduced, but where's the dog? Here I wasn't sure if Ayn was introduced with somebody else, but no, it's just the dog. But the dog is first this time. Ah. Are you sure? How can you hate that? Kids are one thing, but dogs? Come on, man. People who hate dogs, or people who are hated by dogs. Mm. Good cat, damn. <laughs> No, they don't. Yeah, they're like, they know there's something about this dog. Experiments. Okay. Data dog. Okay, so there's something like, it's not something like physical that's in this dog. They've experimented with it and like put in information into its head or something that they could later extract or something. What has that done to it? Has that changed the dog in any way? Is the dog, like, extra intelligent? He seemed pretty smart jumping onto the thing and, and whatnot and running. Of course, I don't know how much of that is just because he's just an, he's an anime dog. Like, he doesn't have to behave totally like a real dog. What 
what is this data? Like, what a, what will it get you? Just to take it for a walk. It's so cute. Like, the tiny... Like, they don't have legs. <laughs> like, the legs are so small that they're just... It's basically just feet. There's the body, and then there's feet. There's no leg. It's cute. Give it a shot. Wow, you that's so specific. You nailed it, man. Yep. Use the dog as bait. And these guys he doesn't know what he doesn't know about them, doesn't know what's going on with the dog, that there would be people after the dog other than him. And they've got this shit, which is gonna cause him to go crazy again. That's why it's a it's a dog whistle. Are you a dog, sir? Yeah, he hears it. Is he just going to go towards it? And they all hear it. Damn. You let go of that thing real easily. If it was a bigger dog, I could understand. And he pulled you real hard. But he's a little ass corgi. He got out of your grasp that easily? You just were not paying attention at all, dude. You're not used to walking dogs, apparently. There you go. He's mixed in with the crowd. <laughs> I'll pay when I'm rich. He does plan to go get rich, like right now. Will he come back to pay you? I wouldn't count on it, but hey. Uh, maybe. If it was convenient for him, if he happened to be passing by, toss you a couple bucks. Oh no, some poor just married couple. The perfect situation for a comedic chase scene to ruin, or he'll just steal the car. <laughs> that was pretty fucking good. Excuse me. Boom. <laughs> just fucking. I'm gonna assume that guy's dead. <laughs> he just died. That was funny. <laughs> no! Yeah, the dog is smart. Those other dogs, that's not good though, but they'll be fine. Hey! Not cool. Do not approve. Wonder what this episode would be like for somebody who's not into animals. You gonna fly that that low? Holy shit. Bite him. Fuck him up. Dude, oh my god. You just land your fucking spacecraft on top of his car. Him and the dog are just married. That's real precious. Nice. Well, oh, I was going to say what a badass. Then he got hurt. I don't want to hear dog yelps. That's a bad sound. You'll grow to like him just fine. Nice. <laughs> Little potato just kind of... And now you guys can go... You, you hang out over there. Oh shit, are they just gonna... They're just dead. They're just dead. I wasn't sure where they were gonna fall into. Uh, but yeah. So they got a dog. I think they didn't get a reward again, but they have a dog. Yeah. Did he not die there? No, wow, okay. It looked like a long fall. Maybe it wasn't that long. Yep, 
Yeah, he's a smarty. But like, what's gonna get them to keep the dog? This poor lady's store was just wrecked. Like, eh. Oh, she's got a new employee, <laughs> this random guy. Unless he, did he already work there and he was taking, I'm not actually sure. I'll have to go double check. See, he's got a dog now. You don't want to try to, to sell it? The, do they not do stuff like that? They'll just go after bounties. I like the bounty hunting show thing. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we got we've got the dog. They didn't actually name it, but uh, I know it's Ein, and uh, he's around now. So let's check after the credits. Seems to be just a preview. So, that's it for episode two. On to the discussion. All right, episode two of Cowboy Bebop. Pretty different than the first one. If I had to say, I'd say I liked the first one more, but it's kind of a different moods type of thing. Like, if I want a fun dog chase scene episode, this one, if I want... To see the guy shoot drugs into his eye and become a crazy person and then they tragically she shoots him and shoots her you know lets herself die up in space and it's it's kind of upsetting and then i'll go with the first one they're very different but uh that one just was a little more impactful this one is more fun and it was it was really well paced it went by really fast i was actually surprised when i saw it. i was like is that really the end of the episode like it went by really fast it was paced well and that has a lot to do with the production, a lot of it being the music again, like the chase scene, one of them that happens is the chases are really fun on their own, just them chasing this dog, you've got this this guy chasing him, Hakeem, Spike chasing after him, these people who created this data dog in the first place, all these different people chasing him through the city and the dog being very intelligent and being able to to get away from them and whatnot, and the music, specifically the song that played during that one chase scene, was was really good, and it just it kept up the pace and was really fun. They didn't actually say the dog's name, but I know that it's Ein, and he's part of the crew now. And just knowing throughout the episode that this dog was going to stay as a main character throughout the show made me more invested. I feel like if I hadn't known that, I would have been like random episode about a dog. I, I wouldn't have been as into it. I also wonder what it would have been like for people who aren't into animals or aren't into dogs. I've, I'm a dog person, so just seeing this little corgi uh, was was cool because he's cute. And my girlfriend specifically really likes corgis, and she calls them bread loaf dogs, and she's just like way into them. So I just kept thinking, like, God damn, I really want to show her this episode and watch this with her. And just I had a particular attachment to Ayn just because of his design. He's a very cute little dog, and I don't know exactly what's going on with him. They say like he's this he's this data dog, and He's had these research experiments done on him. He's very intelligent. I don't know if there's any more than that. I don't know if there's some kind of... The kind of thing you've seen in other other fiction where they have some, like, specific piece of information, like, put into their brain, and then they want to get them to get that information out of them. I don't know if it's anything like that or just, in general, he has just been made intelligent by these experiments. But he's cool. He's a, he's a smart little puppy, and I like him. I really like the uh, the bounty hunter show, Big Shots, I think it was, that we see, where they find out their information about bounties with these, like, cowboy western presenters and just having fun with it. Like, oh, this week's uh, guy is Abdul Hakim, and they're showing what he did and everything. That's just a fun little show, and I hope we see more of that and just see those characters on the show come back. It's just, like, a fun little detail. I, I like a lot of the details in the world that we see, like, with the the space travel and just the detail of the environments like i talked about the last time the aesthetic is is really good along with the music and there's not a ton to say about this one because it's it's just a fun chase scene episode with this dog who's really cute 
Um, I will say, so far, I'm not, like, super invested in the characters of Spike and Jet. We haven't really gotten a lot with them yet. A little bit. You get little details here and there. You see in this one, Spike being annoyed with the fact that he has to deal with the dog. He doesn't like animals or children, but hey, they've, they've got him on there anyway. I guess it seems like they're not willing to do stuff like take the drugs from episode one and sell them or take this dog and sell it even though it's very valuable seems like they just go after bounties and so they're just gonna keep the dog now but yeah i'm not like when i when i think about these first two episodes back with episode one i think about the antagonist's plot and with episode two i think about ein and I think about the visuals and the music and everything. Um, not so much about Spike and Jet yet. And I'm sure, obviously, as we go, we'll get more about them and I'll get more invested in them. And since it's so far episodic and just dealing with setting up this world and it's so much about the tone and the atmosphere and we're just introducing new characters and new little individual stories, I'm sure we'll get more into them as we go. But just for now, it's like they aren't that important to me. It's, I'm more interested. I'm not like, oh, what is Spike going to get up to this week? How is he going to react to this new situation? I'm more just like, what is the new situation going to be? Spike just happens to be the, the vehicle, the main character by which we're going to experience it. So I'm looking forward to getting more info about Spike and Jet and liking them more as we go. Because so far, my favorite character is Ayn. <laughs> um, the villain this week also doesn't have as much as the antagonist from episode one. Did I say this week as if I'm watching it like week to week as it's airing? Did I say that? But either way, um, you get a little bit with him like how he's so quick to anger. And that was, <laughs> I thought it was like genuinely extremely funny when he was stealing the married couple's car. I thought it was going to be like just a, a good setup for the chase scene, like for them all to run through there with all the dogs and like destroy the, the wedding and everything. But no, he just came in to steal the car, and when the, the groom leans in and is just like, Ex excuse me, and just really quickly, he just fucking, boom, <laughs> hits him in the face and he falls off screen. The timing of that was incredible, and it was the funniest thing that's ever happened. But yeah, I don't think I have too much else to say about this episode. Uh, it was fun, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more. Now we've got Ayn introduced, we'll see how uh, big of a role he has. But yeah, if there's anything you want to say about the episode, we can talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel. If there's anybody else you think might enjoy, uh, consider sharing it around. It means a whole lot. Check out the Patreon link down below if you want these videos a week early. Thank you very much for all the support, and I'll see you guys next time.